Hi everyone, Sad the Knee Face Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it is time for a review of the new Logic album, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. This is the latest full-length LP from Maryland rapper Logic, which comes shortly after the release of quite possibly his worst project yet, Supermarket, a soundtrack to a now best-selling book of the same title, and the 13 songs on this record see Logic trying his hand at acoustic balladry, indie pop, alternative rock, all of his attempts of which turn out pretty awful. Oh yeah, bro, I'm a big Logic fan, but even that album to me, big cringe. So big cringe. Well, look, in my opinion, Logic has always been a rapper who has been punching under his weight. And I did see a lot of potential in his initial albums, in his breakthrough mixtapes, the playful bars, the speedy flows, and the incredible versatility. But that versatility later just evolved into Logic's lack of an overall voice, as he just needed to copycat one sound and idea and artist after another in order to pad his projects out to full album or mixtape length. Pretty much every project he's dropped up until this point has at least a handful of songs that ride uh, the coattails of Drake or J. Cole or Kendrick. And there's even a track off this new record where he has a flow and an inflection that feels like he's doing his best JIT impression. Like, if all these artists stop putting out music tomorrow, what would Logic do? He would really have nowhere left to go, and yet he has amassed this audience that just seems addicted to his mediocrity. In a way, I guess you gotta give it to the guy, because he's supremely good at taking better hip-hop, pulling anything subversive out of it, and refining it down for audiences that don't have the framework to understand why he's at a far lower creative tier than his contemporaries who he blatantly rips off. This downward trajectory that Logic has been on since projects like The Incredible True Story, I thought was going to pick up after Supermarket. After all, how could he put out a worse album? And I guess in a way, Confessions does jump over the bar more. It, it's sort of just crawls over the bar. I guess the reason for that being the sound and the style of this record, with it just being a straightforward hip-hop album, is just more in Logic's wheelhouse. He's definitely more in his element here, but I'm still at a loss with this album, because as far as hip-hop records go, this is easily Logic's worst. His most uninspired, his most unimpressive so far. Multiple tracks on this album feature Logic endlessly complaining about how people online don't like him. It's essentially Russ 2.0. Also, quite a few bars on this album with Logic feeling insecure about being called gay over social media. When Logic isn't doing this, he's flexing and delivering some bland braggadocio without much in the way of wit or wordplay. Tracks like these also come along with the narrow-minded belief that Logic made it just because he tried harder and he did the work and meanwhile all the other artists out there and his haters are, are just lazy and they didn't, they didn't do what he did. Seems Logic thinks his success has nothing to do with his delivery of bland inoffensive hip-hop for suburbanites who think caring about real rap means that you listen to someone who raps fast. Even if when they're rapping fast, they sound like crap, because their words bleed together to the point where you can't even really tell what they're saying. On top of that, on this very album, unironically, Logic pretty much says that he, he doesn't care about lyrics. He says it right here in these lyrics, on the track, Don't Be Afraid to Be Different. And honestly, I have to agree, there is nothing impressive about Logic's pen game on this record. In fact, I would say the lyrics on this album get downright awful when he's spitting about wanting to be bipolar because Kanye's bipolar, falsely thinking that maybe if, I guess, he had some sort of chemical imbalance, he'd be creative too. There's also the uh, the line on here about him having a biracial penis. There are quite a few bars on this thing I would much rather just like to forget as soon as possible. But to go back to this lyric where he's writing about not caring about lyrics, whatever spirit he's referring to feeling here in this couplet, I, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it at all. I'm not against the idea of a rapper or an artist in any other genre making music just for the feeling of it over the lyricism, but uh, when you get down to brass tacks on certain tracks here, there's really nothing to feel because Logic picked generic instrumentals, totally half-assed the verses, half-assed the hooks, some of which are painfully repetitive or he just spends his time goofing off to the point where he sounds ridiculous. The song Icy, the song Cocaine, the song Keanu Reeves, which in no way lyrically does it reference back to Keanu Reeves in a witty or creative way to justify the title and the hook of the song. The song Limitless as well, and as I said earlier, when Logic isn't delivering these completely vapid, 
substanceless verses, he's just whining and crying about the things people say about him on the internet. The song Clickbait, the song Wannabe, these bitter, annoying, gross tracks that see Logic portraying himself as, you know, just like dunking on his haters and so on and so forth, but it's painfully apparent to anybody else listening outside that, wow, this like, really gets to you, dude. I'm serious. Talk to someone who has some kind of emotional investment in you and unpack this stuff because it's coming out in your music in not the most healthy way. And yet through his lyrics, it's Logic who would like for us to believe that it's his haters who have the unhealthy obsession. And I know Logic has haters, but I mean, the dude's not that grating. He's not that controversial. He's not one of these 15 minutes of fame social media rappers who rode in on a wave of hate. And for whatever naysayers out there Logic does have, he has far, far, far more fans. It just seems like Logic doesn't have any perspective on this stuff, because in reality, his haters are pretty much doing what they've always done. They're just talking trash. But meanwhile, you're the one making yourself look ridiculous investing so much time into responding to them. Which is okay to some degree, and I hate that I'm talking about this topic this much in a music review, but really, like, logic makes it difficult to get around because it's a prime focus to this album. Considering this, the album cover itself makes sense. When you look at logic, skin melting, skeleton coming out, and he's holding a friggin' phone. The phone being being the source of that hatred, the social media, the drama, the blah, 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 blah. I mean, there are points on here where he brings up the biracial thing as if he's just trying to trigger those haters. Oh, they go crazy when he says he's biracial, so I'm gonna say it. Oh, the mad lad, he did it. I can't believe it. I guess what's even more disappointing than all of this that I've been talking about so far are the features on this record. There's a totally pointless Wiz Khalifa appearance on here where it's not even really Wiz's fault. Logic goes so friggin' hard on the flow and the tone of this song to the point where you know Wiz is coming up, but why would you put him on a track like this? You know he's just going to come onto the song rapping slow, sounding high out of his mind. That's what he does. If you have a stoner anthem or just kind of a chill laid back cut on your record, put him there. That makes sense. Gucci Mane seems to have showed up for the check. Uh, Really phoned it in on this one. Putting g Easy and Logic on a track together seems to be the musical equivalent of taking a slice of Wonder Bread, putting another slice of Wonder Bread on top, and just biting in. And Will Smith, surprisingly enough, turns up on the back end of this record with a cringy introduction referencing back to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme. As the verse progresses, he reminds us why his rap career is essentially over at this point. That Misfit shout out though, that Misfit shout out. Good job, Jaden. Pep Pep is proud of you. Logic's own father appears at the very end of the song Bobby where he just rants and raves about Logic's naysayers and his haters and so on and so forth. He literally brought his dad onto his record to stand up for him. One more thing I should mention while I'm talking about the features on this record is the Eminem appearance on the song Homicide, which was a teaser track to this album. And while I thought Eminem's performance on this cut was pretty entertaining, all I can really say about the song overall is that it turned out better than I thought it would have been, given the level of quality that Logic's and Eminem's music recently has, has been at. I'm just tired of this. I'm just tired. This was obnoxious. This was awful. And what's even more terrible is that it was unlikable. It was, it was sad. Because being likable and being that friendly, approachable, relatable kid who's kind of above it all, being that everyman that you wanted to root for even if his music was just okay, that was what was essentially keeping me in Logic's corner up until this point. But now that that attitude's just gone now. He just seems way too focused and obsessed and butthurt over irrelevant crap and I, I don't know what to say. All of his belly aching over the sliver of people who don't like him doesn't translate into anything compelling or worthwhile. And not to say that Logic can't be legitimately unhappy or depressed or stressed out over his career and the music industry and, and what people say about him. But honestly, throughout this entire record, there's nothing in the way of any profound observation or analysis of why things are the way they are and how it came to be this way. Logic's understanding and autopsy of all of this is all just very basic and surface level. The best tracks on this record are easily the first couple, 
The cut that features YBN Corday is pretty fantastic as well as uh, Corday proves himself to be uh, the best feature on the entire project, even though he does rap for a very short amount of time. And there are a few promising instrumentals on the record, but nothing that outshines the severe averageness of Logic's verses and his hooks. Logic's worst rap album, again, by a very large margin, in my opinion. I'm feeling a strong one to a light two on this thing. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Logic, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, forever.